Hi, this is Shadi. This video wouldn't have been possible without the help of Emmanuel Papa. Emmanuel Papa translated it, uh, the, all the memoirs and the reference for this video. So as a pinned comment, I will put the reference as well as Emmanuel's Instagram. Again, Emmanuel, thank you for the help. This story is incredibly interesting as a judoka. Uh, so it's concerning the legendary Tatsukuma Ushijima who went to China back in 1939 and fought Chinese wrestlers uh, in the jacket and according to their rules and the story is very much uh, amazing and it needs to be put out there and I'm glad I can play a role in this. So before we start the story, there's a few characters that need to be talked about as a background. The first one being Sun Rong. You are seeing them in front of you on the screen, who was a street performer and a wrestler um, who was considered tall for the period, who was 5'10", also uh, very lanky with big, strong hands, small waist, and he was thin in general. Um, his favorite techniques uh, was chuai, what we call in judo seoenage, and naochi, what we call in judo o sotogari or chuo. Um, the next character being Bao Shanlin, who was known as Bao Sun, born in 1900, who was a Manchurian wrestler. And the third character, who was Shen Yusan, also known as Shen San born in 1883, a Muslim Chinese from the Hui minority. It's important to note that after the fall of the Qing dynasty in 1912, a lot of the wrestlers completely lost financial support that was coming from their position in the army, um, as well as being members of the Qing Eight Banners. So a lot of these ex-wrestlers and army men had to make a living becoming street market performers and temple fairs uh, performers showing their wrestling skills and fighting for a living. So let's get to Ushijima and the Beijing wrestler. So in 1939, a delegation of martial arts expert was sent to Japan under the command of Ma Liang, who at the time served as the commander of the 47th Mixed Brigade and garrison envoy of Jinan. So uh, among these martial arts expert was a wrestling team com composed of uh, Mongolian wrestlers and Manchu wrestlers. So here is again another evidence showing the real uh, origins of what we call today Sui Jiao or Ch Chinese wrestling. So during that visit, many uh, Japanese wrestling experts gathered and exchanged bouts with these uh, res with these wrestling teams that were from Mongolia and Manchuria. So Bao San was highly praised from the Japanese for his skills and obtained praise from none other than the Nippon Budokan. So there is only one source that mentions uh, the following. Um, it's a incident on July 7th. Uh, Beijing became a Japanese unification area. Many of Japanese troops and Japanese businessmen were living in the city. So um, there were also a lot of judo experts who came to China. So between 1940 and 1942, a group of five judokas headed by Ushijima made three trips to China. They visited particularly Beijing, Tianjin, and Shanghai. So um, these events and bouts that I'm gonna share with you are passed down through memories and journals, uh, somewhat similar to uh, Sanzo Maruyama's great book of judo history, which, uh, has a lot of interviews and also these little anecdotes and stories. So Ushijima, who was an officer of the Japanese invader army stationed in Beijing, he had researched the Chinese wrestling before and desired to learn more about them. And you get to learn a lot more about Ushijima, his character through that story. And I've come to admire him even more uh, after researching him in the past. So he came to Beijing uh, and first found Chen San's wrestling school in uh, Tianqiao and this is where the story begins. So everyone was scared of him and was very worried because of his looks. So Chen Yu San uh, who was worried that if he would win against Ushijima the Japanese army would take him away and never for him to be seen again and of course would have to close the Tianqiao wrestling school. So he asked his friend 
Sun Rong to actually wrestle Ushijima and they agreed that Shen San would have to wrestle him uh, if he wouldn't lose to Sun Rong. So they agreed to wrestle according to the rules of uh, Suai Jia, which was back then only the feet should touch the ground. So it's uh, it's kind of like Boch of the Inner Mongolia where even if you put your tip of the finger on the ground, you actually lose and it was two out of three falls. So they gave Ushijima the Dalian, which is the wrestling jacket with a camel wool rope as a belt and boots. However, Ushijima being the beast that he is, decided to wrestle barefoot like a judoka. So Sun Rong asked Shen San, uh, how should I wrestle him? And Shen San uh, simply replied with, give it to him, meaning don't pretend and don't go 50-50, just wrestle for real. So the two saluted each other. Sun Rong immediately uh, raised his guard and started to grip fight Ushijima, uh, showing his judo skills. The two started fighting. Um, without falling on the ground, Chen San shouted from the crowd and he was still insisting, give it to him, give it to him. So Ushijima uh, managed to grip uh, the collar and sleeve like a judoka and stepped behind and attacked with what we call Uchimata. However, it wasn't perfect. It did not end the job. So Sun Rong followed along and fell on the ground. So uh, Ushijima uh, knew that this technique wasn't perfect and it shouldn't have been counted as a throw. So they started again, from what I understand. Um, and then Ushijima hurried and told the translator, you know, please tell him to fight me for real. He said, and I quote, you have to fight for real. I want to have a real match. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. We are all trying to learn from each other's skills, which is an amazing thing to uh, to think and say. Uh, which sheds again a lot of light on his character um, so it wasn't counted so they they started again and the audience was going absolutely insane and they told Sun throw that Japanese Shen Sun shook, uh, took the opportunity uh, to ask uh, the audience for money actually and introduced to the audience Mr. Ushijima is a master of judo he came to this wrestling school to have an exchange of wrestling skills no matter who wins or lose please stand up and cheer so um, the fight starts again and they entered this time and they were really going at it um, Ushijima is trying to attack but it didn't work he was losing his cardio the audience was going crazy they were saying throw him throw him and this time um, he went in and actually threw him so um, Sun Rong grabbed Ushijima's hand, stepped in from behind and attacked with what we call Ippon Seoenage or Layao Chao. Excuse my Chinese if it's not pronounced correctly. And then followed by an Uchimata as a combo, which is an interesting combination if you ask me. And then finally a Harai Goshi since I would say he managed to take his leg out and thus he blocked his legs with a Harai Goshi what they call Layao Biezi. So Sun Rong managed to throw him once on the ground. Ushijima stood up and they started the next round. So uh, Sun Rong had won the first one. Ushijima knew he was strong, so he became more careful and lowered his center of gravity. So the two started fighting again, uh, gripping, and then Ushijima thought uh, Sun Rong was going again for the same technique but suddenly Sun Rong turned and stepped on the opposite leg and threw Ushijima with what we call Hiza Guruma or T in Chinese finally getting the second throw. Um, Sun Rong won the second round so best two out of three. The whole audience went crazy but at the same time they were scared since he threw a Japanese Imperial Army officer so they were afraid there would be some ramifications or consequences since you know back then the the relationship between the two countries obviously wasn't good if you go back to that time and period you would know that this wasn't a peaceful era so that's why there were a lot of concerns on the Chinese side after the exchange, uh, Ushijima wanted to give some money to the wrestling ground or the facility, 
but Chen San insisted of not accepting the money. The Japanese translator said, and I quote, Master Ushijima appreciates your wrestling skills and wants to become friends. He invites you to the New People's Association, a non Shizi club, uh, to exchange wrestling skills and hope you can attend the appointment. So after that, the Japanese left, um, but people were still um, very anxious and extremely cautious, particularly Chen San. But after a few days, he was not arrested, which actually shows the the character of Ushijima. He wasn't a bully. He wasn't a tyrant. He wasn't using his uh, position to do all these things. He was actually there to go and learn, and and indeed he learned. So. Um, obviously based on the anti-Japanese sentiments etc um, judo would not be considered a sport in China or officially introduced in China up until the early 1980s um, and the people regarded it as a new thing uh, when they started to see judo competitions unfold for the first time and keep in mind back then judo was different from today even it still is still this day with the, with the jacket you know there's sutemi waza you can go on the ground uh, of course leg grabs back then etc it's the submissions the osaikomi the newaza the whole thing um so they saw it as very different even though you know the human body is the same everywhere on the planet uh, and throws can be very similar as you've seen from the accounts of the story so the story is great um to see that there was a story you know containing the sui jiao and judo both together um it's always something how I, how to say um you know separate so i jiao and boh it's kind of like they're in their own world however the story is a great uh crossover between the two arts and it contained one of the best characters of judo history tatsukuma ushijima so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only you get to see behind the scenes and uh, full podcasts etc but my main content will always be here on the channel so uh, again thank you emmanuel papa for making this video a possibility and please check out the references in the pinned comment below as well as emmanuel's instagram this was shady and thank you for listening